Hey everyone, welcome back to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It's that time of year again uh, where we need to uh, feed the bees. We need to put some uh, granulated sugar on there for the hives that uh, are lightweight and may not have enough honey to get through to the spring and the next nectar flow. We want to get some uh, solid sugar on there. Uh, so what we're going to do is I use these top feeders that I've made and all it is is about an inch and three quarter spacer there's no fancy joint it's just a butt joint and i drilled a hole in the end and put a little screen over it there so that's a ventilation hole the screen's over it to keep uh, robber bees out should any try to come in that side hole and get to the sugar so it has hardware cloth on the bottom that's uh big enough for the bees to pass through and I put newspaper down and I pack my sugar in here and I'm going to show you how I prepare the sugar. So I just use from Walmart their uh, great value 20 pound, 25 pound bag of sugar. It's upside down. And uh, I don't melt it in the oven. I don't make that hot candy a uh, hard candy i don't see any need to do that i use uh pro health and i mix up about a fourth of a gallon of water and i put uh probably two tablespoons of this pro health in there uh you get this from man lake and uh I try and catch it when it's on sale. It's also uh, about the same thing as Honey Bee Healthy. I uh, heard that this has uh, thymol in it, which helps repel varroa mites. So there. So we'll mix this up real good. And we'll use this mixture here to mix with our granulated sugar to pack it up. Kind of like, uh, same consistency as like a snowball. Okay. <laughs> I lost this knife for about two months and I come out here, it's sitting right down in here. <laughs> like, wow, my knife. So this 25-pound bag won't fit in this five-gallon bucket. Uh, maybe half of it will. I'm gonna stop there. It's filled to, uh, it's full to right here. Almost half. So the next thing you need is a good, uh, good solid drill and a paint stirrer attachment. So what you do is you take, uh, a little bit of this at a time and mix it in there and just stir it up with your paint stir. I put in about a third of it. it smells like lemon. Okay, let's test it now. Okay, it's wet to the touch, and I squeeze it, and it's kind of like a snowball. It's, it's still crumbly because it's sugar, but 
it packs and that's what's important if it just crumbled in into little like granule just normal sugar that's not what you want you want it to pack so when you pack it into your screen it'll stay okay real quick this is one that uh, was left over from last year that the bees didn't uh, eat all the way through and there's quite a bit left so you can see they ate through that little hole right there at the top and on the back side you can see there's a, quite a bit more gone on the underneath side but I'll go ahead and reuse this this year that's just to give you kind of an idea of what it looks like so normally I uh, put newspaper down in here that uh, I got all this paper towel that our dog unraveled one day when she was in the house by herself so I'm just going to use that plus I'm out of newspaper that I could find so there's a nice muddy dog print and the bees can chew right through this no problem so one thing you want to make sure you don't do is cover this hole up with sugar where air can't flow through it and you also want to leave a little bit of a, a space between the bottom and the top right in here so air can flow through there so i usually start out i spoon it in in the corners just to kind of hold your paper in place see how that packs in there nice and tight so getting these corners packed in there and then I'll just turn this bucket up on its side I have seven or eight of these there we go that's good So they do hold quite a bit of sugar. If you uh, manage your hives to where they have quite a bit of honey in them and they're fairly heavy going into the fall, you won't need all this. I have several hives that uh, were splits from last year and they were just getting started and they don't have a full uh, second deep chamber that's full of honey and this will sustain them for quite a while so the reason you use solid sugar in the winter is uh, it it doesn't add a lot of moisture into the hive if you're feeding liquid and bees are supposed to have a difficult time metabolizing liquid sugar when it gets uh, around 40 degrees Fahrenheit so you don't want to be putting liquid in there open feeding them if you have some warm summer days in the 60s or you live down in the southern climate uh, you probably don't need to do this but just a little bit more all right that ought to do for this one so what this will do is the moisture will uh, evaporate out of this sugar and it'll dry uh, nice and hard just like that other one over there that that sugar and that's uh like a giant sugar cube it's nice and hard okay so now I'm going to uh, pull some off the side here and make sure there's a little hole right there for ventilation give you a quick look at what I'm talking about so there you can see there's a lot of loose sugar on there and that's fine and right here's where I made the space for the vent so when air can flow 
from the bottom up up through that hole right there on the outside so that's it for uh, making the sugar feeders I got to do uh, five or six more of these and also I'll lay some of this out on a cookie sheet and make squares of it that'll dry and that'll be like a cake and I have uh, one and a half inch spacers without the wire in them and I'll just set those cakes on top of the frames when needed so that's just kind of an emergency boost thing.